Brothers, welcome back to Cosmoteer. We have jumped into a new station and are immediately welcomed by an absolute horde of enemies. This is uh, a little bit scary here. We do have, uh, oh goodness, we so we jumped from this station or from Sigma into this ha Hato, just kind of seeing how well the Devastator is going to do. And this is going to be a challenge if there ever was one. Look at how many guys there are. That is an absolute horde, and we have to fight them all right now because we do not have the ability to jump back. This is our do or die mission right here. Unfortunately, the Devastator is behind everybody. Now, looking at the Devastator, you'll notice I added some big upgrades to it. I had a lot of flat cannons uh, or a lot of deck guns. I added this kind of section here. I added another rail gun. So this thing should pack a punch. I'm kind of hoping that these guys along the sides are going to protect us a little bit so that we don't necessarily get attacked. We do also have a row of point defense in front so we can slow down a lot of projectiles. If this was ever a test for this ship, it is right here and right now. So let's see what we can do. Let's move the, the Fang Fighter over to the side, just clearing away. But we do need to change the name really quickly. And I know just the name. That's right, for all you boys out there requesting it, it's the return of the big floppa. <laughs> it's the cargo ship we will have. So we did load up a ton of this stuff. We have upgraded it quite significantly. We have a lot of iron and sulfur to make our own ammunition. So instead of having to buy it and I just carry this ship around kind of as a nice little cargo ship to dump all the stuff from the from the Devastator off. So let's try this now. We do have our rocket launcher ship going in too. So hopefully we can get the big floppa out of the way, out of danger. Let's move the onrush over a little bit. Okay, so that's one ship gone right away. Here comes another one from the side. Fortunately, we have these defenses we were talking about that are going to be able to do damage to this bottom feeder. Now, if he gets behind us, that is going to be a big issue. So we need to turn the ship. We need we need the big flop up out of the way. Whatever you can do, just get out of the way. I'm really pushing forward with the Devastator. And we take out one ship with the side cannons. But we have this giant peacekeeper. What is this? Okay, activate the tractor beams on it. We're going to need to turn the ship. Uh, Onrush, I need you to fire your missiles into this thing. Destroy its core. Let's try and turn so we have our shields facing it, but this is the biggest challenge yet. Oh, we have made a mistake coming here. <laughs> there goes the rail guns a little bit too early, but that's okay. Let's just keep firing into this guy. Pepper him with all of our deck cannons and just kind of worry about the, the smaller ships later on. This is the big enchilada right here. Let's really focus in on that core. Give me those rail guns. I need them active right now. There goes the rail guns again. We were able to destroy the ship off the sides. They are destroying those missiles that are coming in. Those are just EMP missiles. Oh, we got it done. It's destroyed. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. Fortunately, everybody's leaving the big flop all alone. Let's track to beam this guy. Bring him in on rush. Do something. <laughs> uh, attack this man. Okay, I think we're out of the woods. The Devastator. The Devastator's holding the line. Oh, I'm so happy I invested so heavily in this thing. Let's go after this glint now. Now we're looking a lot better. But that was like 10 ships all at once and that level 14 Peacekeeper absolutely scared the crap out of me. I thought this was going to be a huge mistake. I did not have an auto save lined up, so I wasn't sure how far I was going to have to go back. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the missiles just because they have the tendency to do a lot of friendly fire like that. But, uh, oh gosh, is that another guy coming in? Okay, this is a mistake coming here. We were able to knock off these guys. So let's go ahead and repair the Devastator. It didn't take too much damage all in all. And uh, let's move, let's repair the big floppa. It did take the most amount of damage. You can see some of its space debris. Let's go ahead and have it collect all of that. And let's push up to defend it because this guy looks like he's coming in. Oh, buddy, okay. Yeah, he's coming in, he's coming in. Let's try and get around this debris. We're catching it. Yeah, he's firing at us. He's firing at the floppa. Oh, no. Okay. Let's bring the onrush up and tell it to attack. This is another big ship. We need the, we need it to target our buddy. This is a level 15 enforcer. Let's bring the tractor beams on it and hopefully defend with all of our point defense systems. Uh, some of these missiles are getting through, especially the ones on the side. Uh, they're having trouble hitting the, the bigger rockets, but these slower, smaller projectiles, they are able to still hit. Here comes our deck cannons. This is our time to shine. We are still taking damage. Let's go ahead and back off with the onrush so we don't take friendly fire with their missiles and just keep pushing through. We have an open line. He has a railgun. Okay, he has his own railgun. We just blew it up. Okay, so we're able to get through this guy. And now that he has his railgun, he's going to be pretty defenseless. And we do have the target with the, with the, uh, I want to pull it in closer. Okay, let's just, let's just bring up, let's just go in further. 
But he's trying to back away so we can just fire his rockets in peace and be out of the range of our deck cannons. Let's bring the onrush up for support. Hide the big floppa in the shadow of the hype of the hyperdrive. And how are we looking? This is a, a very scary situation we're in. We're actually technically out of combat, so we will repair. Oh, that was the onrush. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of damage, or took a little bit of damage itself. We have finally caught up to the enforcer, and now, oh, thank goodness, we're able to defeat that as well. Lots of challenges so far, just being right away in this station. We might have bit off more than we could chew. Oh, those guys are still collect collecting, so let's go ahead and let them do that. Re repair this ship. And collect all this stuff out here. There is a lot of it. And we could take that over this enforcer. Let's see what it would cost to repair. Let's send over a guy to the uh, enforcer and see what that looks like. That's expensive. That's really expensive. 12,000 steel plates. Yeah, I'm not sure if this guy was worth it. He's missing just about everything. You can see some of the crewmates are still stuck in because the uh, airlocks have been blown apart. So they're stuck in the ship. So what do I want to do here? Well, let's go ahead and let this time go by. Oh, are you coming? Let's let's get the Devastator in position to, re to repel this attack. If he goes in on the big floppa, I'm not sure where he's going. Uh, yep, he's coming into us. Okay. This is an ironclad. This is a level 15 ship. The uh, uh, Onrush has fired all of its rockets. So let's go ahead and target. And let's... Tr it's two reactors. Okay. But its bridge is pretty exposed. If we can get through that layer of shield potential with the railgun, this could be a big prize for us. So let's do this. It fires a lot of beams, but fortunately they're not consolidated with crystals. Otherwise, this would be a powerful beam. Our shields are holding it off, but... There is so much in the air right now. It is, uh, we're definitely still taking damage. We need to work our way through these shields in order to get into that, uh, into those crystals and into that cockpit. But just keep going. We've worked through most of the shields and there we go. Oh, and we leveled up too. Oh, that was a big ship. That was a really big ship, but this one's actually pretty intact. Let's go ahead and repair our ship. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it's still got a reactor. It's missing a reactor and its cockpit and a few shields. Let's go ahead and transfer guy in here, see how expensive this one would be. Because I do feel like I need a second ship, especially if we're going to be in this kind of lay of the land area. Let's see what this would cost to repair. Honestly, not that bad. It's pretty cheap. It's going to require a lot of hypercoils and some enriched uranium. But this might be a fun second ship. It's got a lot of rocket launchers. I love those crystals, and I'm kind of wanting to play around with the laser beam, so... Let's, uh, everybody's coming back from the big floppa, and then we'll bring it up. Oh, thank God, I thought that was another ship. I was like, please, sir, I have no time. Okay, well, so we'll wait for those guys. We'll speed this up so that last guy can get in, and then we'll move the big floppa over and see about repairing this iron club. But what a way to start the episode, am I right? So, it's still rather expensive, so maybe if we collect, maybe it's not close enough. Uh, we don't have any enriched uranium. We don't have any enriched uranium. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Well, we could try and make it to the station. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Let's go ahead and scout ahead with the onrush just for the time being. Actually, let's not. Let's go ahead and get off the enforcer. Or we could collect all this stuff. Yeah, the peacekeeper is definitely dead. Let's go ahead and go back to the peacekeeper and see if we can find any enriched uranium off this guy. I do feel like repairing the ironclad would be a smart move for us. So let's go ahead and grab all of this stuff and see what we can get. No enriched uranium, but there are a lot of engines still intact, which bodes well for us because engines do contain uranium. So we'll repair the onrush and um, discard that modification. I don't know if I really want to keep the onrush or not, but for right now, we definitely want to. Uh, I don't want to be out in this space alone, especially while the Devastator has so many crewmates out and about collecting hopefully more enriched uranium. Let's send the onrush into that station, see if we can buy any enriched uranium as uh we'll move that a little bit closer we'll leave the enforcer for now it's definitely not going to be repairable as you can see it just costs way too much that's so much money even if we repaired slight things it's just not going to be worth it so what we could do is tear it apart in the blueprint mode so let's try that and go ahead and see if we can just delete all of this Oh, you got to hit control. There we go. Okay, so that's a good amount of uranium right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to need a bedroom. So let's go ahead and do that and see how much that nets us. 
on the ground. Uh, Onrush, I'm, I'm not sure if you still need to go. Let's, let's wait for the Devastator. Yeah, why don't you stay here, guard that. We'll g get the rest of the stuff from that first ship we blew up, the big one. And then go collect the rest of the materials from that one Enforcer we just took out, or just deleted, so... Well, oh, then, oh, these bulk extractors really scare me. <laughs> I keep seeing another ship on the horizon and be like, no, no. Oh, this guy doesn't have oxygen. Why not? Uh, oh, he can't get into the ship. Hold on, we gotta build an air hatch. Oh, not wrong ship, wrong ship. Okay, let's build a little air hatch for him. Okay, now he should be able to get in. I just don't want him to die. Yeah, he's in. Okay, he's fine. We'll pick him up in a bit. Devastator is done. Let's go collect all this stuff and then see if we have enough. Okay, so new plan. I'm very scared of this system. I'm going to send the onrush back. It doesn't have enough. Okay, big floppa. Uh, can you transfer more crystals to this guy? Ship's too far apart. Okay, let's bring him closer. We'll move the onrush, it has a lot more maneuverability. Let's go back to the other system to buy that uranium that we're going to need to fix this ship. So let's get this transfer set up. Yep, give me all of it. And as soon as that's done, we'll be able to jump. We'll leave everything behind for right now. Yeah, this guy's going to need 24. We've got 9, and he's going to... You know, let's just repair what we can for the time being. Let's see how much we actually need. What Maybe we can get rid of a, like a reactor or two if it's not pivotal. But let's repair all of this and we'll come back at the end of this. Okay, so a ship's come by, which is allowing us to fix this for money, which was great. So we spent a little bit of money to get this done. As you can see, we still have a few more things that we need to repair, but this should be operational now. So let's go ahead and move the big Devastator over and... Uh, yeah, we just need 45 more coils, and then we can have an operational ship. So, I can't believe we don't have that. That's kind of crazy. And look at this bad boy. It's got a lot of lasers. It's got some rockets. I really like it. I like the design of it. It needs a lot of crew. It needs like 200 and some. How much can we get away with on this? Let's transfer crew. Hold on, I'm thinking. Okay, let's transfer crew. Let's give... Not the Enforcer. That's the Ironclad. Okay, I was about to say, what am I thinking? Alright. Let's transfer... Let's transfer a few people over to the Ironclad so it'd be operational. 100 should get it on its way. And hopefully we can leave this system with this ship, bring it back to the safer sector, do some more repair works, and test it out a little bit too. So... We'll bring all of our ships, and let's leave. Okay, we are back in the station. Look at that ironclad. I love the look of that ship. I'm going to be very happy to add it to our fleet. Let's go to the station, see if we can grab more people, because uh, this guy's pretty low on troops as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to roll with that. I really love this ship. I really want to see it in action, too. So I want to see get it fully up to staff. This guy needs a little bit more crew himself so let's see what we can do on this okay we are at the station you love the pathing in this everybody's trying to get to the same spot oh stop hitting the station okay let's go in here recruit as many people as we can we're up to 149 okay so now it's a little bit more operational but it's going to take a while to get all of this stuff into the ship so let's go ahead transfer some of the stuff the missiles to the onrush and we're just going to be going around a little bit, trying to get more crew for these two ships. And then we also are going to change the uh, Onrush to the Mope Reaper. That was the number one upvoted thing before I changed our ship to the uh, Devastator. So I want to honor that. And we'll change this to another suggestion, the Full Send. Love it. So now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, these guys are still going. Let's wait for that to finish. And these two, let's go ahead and try them out and just kind of send them around to the other stations to grab more crew. Okay, we're going to buy some crystals or some diamonds at this. I would love to get the diamond prisons for the laser for the ironclad. Or excuse me, the full sender to get that operational. Basically what you do is it, the lasers by themselves just shoot straight. 
But if we put a diamond in front of them, aim them at one specific diamond, then it combines the lasers, makes them stronger into one giant laser. So that's what that's our mission right now. The full sender is just on a quest right now to go to all the stations trying to get more crew. We are desp in desperate need of crew. The Mope Reaper hasn't even been able to get anybody yet because the Ironclad it needs so so many so we're sending this guy over to that station hopefully there'll be more crew by the time he gets in there and we'll just check on this guy he's actually oh that's the uh, platform can't talk to that let's talk to the station okay let's see how many we can get from this one 67 okay oh there's no path what do you mean okay well let's just hire the individual crews so we can identify the problem bedrooms and then go from there we almost are at full operational strength with this, at least in terms of how many beds we have. We are going to need more beds. So we'll just go through this, hire them individually, and then identify the problem bedrooms and make some changes. Okay, here's the problem right here is these bedrooms on the sides are not getting filled in. This is a problem, a little bit of a bug with the game, is that if they're not directly connected to a corridor, it doesn't count them. So you can see a number of these bedrooms are attached directly to ammo facilities so we're gonna need to do that we have plenty of beds will you let me hire anybody I doubt it so let's just go ahead and collect ammunition for this guy we're gonna need missiles and ammo and then we'll go about changing the ship a little bit okay so a little bit of a change we have made is I've enhanced the front wings a little bit basically what was happening is I took out the last row of deck cannons because they weren't ever firing. They weren't ever in range of anybody. So I took them out and I've added them to the front and I've also added a few flat cannons in there. So let's go down to the station now with the, the Devastator. And I probably could have done that for a little bit cheaper. It cost me about 19,000 credits. We have really blown through the credits getting the Ironclad up and running. So we'll go ahead, grab some stuff at this station and head on down south where everybody's already rendezvousing. All right, bit of a design flaw. This guy has no ammunition behind him, so let's at least load up him with some storage so he can fire on the regular. Same with these guys. There's, there's, this is a perfect little space for two little storages so the flat cannons don't run out of ammo. I noticed that along the way and be like, wait a minute, this is going to be dangerous. We also probably need to add a little bit of armor onto the sides, but um, let's just make sure that these guys are filled with ammunition and nothing else. So, and then those guys down there are empty, so we can go ahead, oh, hold up. Give me a second. Let's move these over here where there's the cannons again. We'll move the bedroom up and do some redesigns and we'll probably add some storage into the back once we get to the big floppa. Well, right now let's make those accessible and add a little bit of this. I think we have the extra steel on board, so I'm not that concerned with it. And getting that extra storage is really going to help with uh, Devastator's overall cunning ability. So we will need to clear this section. How do I do it? Right clicking doesn't work. Okay, clear designated resources. Perfect. Okay, let's clear out all of this so that there's no ammunition stored in these ones and that hopefully the ammunition goes to the right ones and we will need to eventually re-up our ammunition storages to be more centralized at least on the top and those are missiles okay we don't have any more missiles we gave up on that experiment a long time ago missiles suck <laughs> you end up hitting your ship just as much as you hit the enemies even though we do have the mope reaper i'm gonna see play around with that one to see if i can make it good if it's on a separate ship but i don't like having it on the devastator we did lose some people to space and i'd love to get more ammunition from the big floppa well let's see real quick if um let's see just trying to see if there's anything we can sell we could probably sell off a little bit of the steel here we have way too much of it so let's go down probably about a thousand i think would be good and uh let's get rid of the copper carbon we're gonna keep because that's diamond material Okay, anyways, Devastator. Let's go grab more ammunition for those front cannons. Oh, wait, the people! The people! Oh my goodness. Okay, 22 people went out in space. Come back for them. When you move a bedroom, the people go outside. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna die. Okay, we're able to rescue them all. Okay, onto the station. 
Okay, Devastator is here. Let's go ahead, buy all the ammo we're gonna need. We don't have enough to buy it all, so let's just get a lot of it. And then we'll go up north to fight the uh, people at that question mark there. Okay, so we bought $25,000 worth of ammunition. We need it though, we are down to, it's crazy to think we were at 400,000 at the beginning of this episode. Now we're down to 121. But ammunition, we're gonna need it, especially for all these cannons up front now. They're gonna be very devastating in their attacks as long as they have the ammunition for it. We're gonna be fighting harder enemies from here on out, so ammunition's not something we can skimp on, and I don't really wanna fly across this, uh, the entire sector to get more ammunition from the Mope Reaper. So after this, what I think we're gonna do is go up north to this sector right here. It's not as hard as that H Hato guy place we were just at, and I think that's the next logical step because man, we cut it close at the beginning there, just jumping in there and immediately being greeted with like 15 ships attacking us. So we'll go ahead and finish up here and then go up north. Okay, we're at the question mark. It's two enemies. I'm glad I, three enemies. I'm glad I reloaded my ammunition, took care of that logistical issue. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's turn the ship. One of them doesn't appear to be moving. It might be a, a, a platform or something, which I'm hoping this isn't a pirate base. But I've been to, okay, it's a spaceship graveyard, which means there's gonna be a lot of resources here. Let's try and bait one of these guys out a little bit. I don't want to fight all of them at once. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. This looks like a big ship. It is a cross guard. Okay, that's really big. Let's lock the tractor beams on him. Slow this down. Hopefully we don't pull the other one. We've, we're in a great spot where we don't have any debris in front of us, which is really going to allow us to unleash the full devastation of the Devastator. Oh, look at how it just f melted the front of a ship and he's gone like it was nothing. Oh, that's great. Let's mark this down. And um, let's see what we can do. We got plenty of storage, plenty of ammo. Let's go into whatever this is. Again, I think it is a platform. Let's try and thread the needle a little bit in between this little space debris right here. Let's see what we're dealing with. A little bit more space debris. Give me a, just a hair more. What are we dealing with? It is a platform. Okay. It's a small missile platform, so let's go for its cockpit so we can save its uranium for our, our own use and see what we can do here. There goes the railguns. Unfortunately, hits the debris. A lot of our shots do hit the debris, but a few of the right side cannons do connect. We're able to quickly shoot down. Oh, there we go. Rail guns to the rescue. Okay, let's mark that down. Let's finish this last ship, which I imagine will be another large ship. Let's get these guys. We could get them to go collect. Let's get them up here for right now. And then up here to collect all this garbage. We need the, as much money as we can get. So collecting all this stuff is Mostly going to be steel, but there will be some uranium. There are some engines in here. I do know that. So let's go ahead and finish up this crossfire. Or not the crossfire. We'll see what this is. It probably will be another big ship. It is another cross guard. Okay. So we know how to deal with this. Fire right there. Looks like it already took a hit from our rail gun. There goes the other rail gun. We're quickly able to destroy all of its missiles. And just melt away the front again. Oh, the Devastator. You love to see it. Okay. So that's the end of the cross guard. And now we have conquered this. So let's go ahead and mine all of this stuff. Okay. And that is where we are going to end things for today. We're going to bring up everybody to collect all of this space debris up here. Again, needing all of this stuff. But as we do wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you've made it this far in the video. If you have made it this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.